everyone, this is Teacher Romel and welcome to our new episode of videos which is multiplication of mixed fractions. Okay, so this is our problem. 4 and 1 half multiplied by 2 pip is what number? So what will be our operation? Yes, of course, it's multiplication system because of the word multiplied. So, how are we going to write this in the number sentence? This will be written as 4 and 1 half times 2 over 5 equals n. So, that will be our number sentence. Now, how do we multiply a mixed fraction by a fraction? Okay, so first... We're going to change this mixed fraction into what? Improper fraction. So how do we change a mixed fraction to improper fraction? So simply, that is, multiply natin yung 2 times 4. So, multiply natin, 2 times 4 is equals to 8. And then 8 plus 1. That will give you 9 And then just copy the denominator So meaning 4 and 1 half is also equal to 9 over 2 This is the version for improper fraction And this is for mixed fraction So pareho lang sila They're just the same And then we can now multiply it by 2 pip Okay so, how do we multiply fraction by fraction? We just simply multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So, 9 times 2 is 18 and then 2 times 5 is 10. So, what kind of fraction is this? This is improper fraction. Very good. So, what are we going to do with improper fraction? We change that to mixed fraction. And how do we do that? We divide very good. So, we divide 18 divided by 10. Dinidivide natin yan kasi mas malaki yung nasa taas kaysa sa baba. Diba? So, improper siya. So, divide natin. 18 divided by 10 is 1. 1 divided times 10, I mean, is 10. And then, 8 minus 0 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. Natin so, this is our remainder. So, our remainder is 8. So, that will be our numerator. And then, divisor will be your denominator. So, your answer is 8. Uh, I mean, 1 and 8 over 10. So, this is equivalent to 1 and 8 over 10. Is this our final answer? Okay, no. Why? Because 8 over 10 still can be reduced to lowest term. And what is the GCF? Meron siyang GCF. No? Pwede natin siyang i-divide by 2. Okay, and that's our GCF. So, 8 divided by 2 is okay, 4. Then, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Don't forget our whole number, which is 1. So, 4 pip is already in the lowest term. So, our answer is 1 and 4 pip. Okay? Any question? Okay, easy lang, diba? So, we'll have more exercises. Okay, so our next problem is this one. So, the product of 3 and 1 third and 1 and 1 half is blank. So, what operation are we going to use with this kind of problem? Okay, that's multiplication. Why? Because of the word product. Product is the answer in multiplication. Okay? So, what will be our number sentence? So, that will be 3 and 1 third times 1 and 1 half. Yeah. So, before multiplying this, first, we have to change this, what of this, mixed fraction to improper fraction. 
so how do we change this so again we multiply the denominator by the whole number so 3 times 3 is 9 then add 1 so 3 times 3 is 9 then plus the numerator which is 1 is equal to 10 then copy the denominator which is 3 and then times 2 times 1 is 2 okay plus 1 is 3 so 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 then copy the denominator which is 2 then multiply 2 times uh, I mean 10 times 3 is 30 over 3 times 2 is 6 so again this is improper fraction kasi mas malaki yung numerator niya sa denominator so what do we have to do we divide by 3 so 30 divided by 6 30 divided by 6 is what? 5 5 times 6 is 30 30 minus 30 is 0 so the answer is 5 which is a whole number ok so this is our answer that's very easy right ok so our next problem is 1 fourth times 7 times 1 half so we have a fraction a whole number and another fraction so don't be confused so first we multiply this fraction and this fraction and the whole number okay so that will be one fourth times seven so that is equals to one times seven is seven and then copy the denominator okay and then multiply continue multiply it by one half so 7 times 1 is 7 4 times 2 is 8 so our answer is 7 over 8 is that our final answer yes that is a proper fraction mas maliit yung taas kaysa sa baba and this is already in the simplest form okay that's very easy right okay so next problem tayo Okay, so next problem, we have 5 times 1 fourth times 7 and 1 half equals block. Okay, so we have a whole number, a fraction, and a mixed fraction. Okay, let's see. Now, first, so... We multiply this step by step. First, we're going to multiply 5 times 1 fourth. Tulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Okay, so, it's very easy. So, we'll just multiply this 5 times 1. It will give you 5. Then, copy the denominator, which is 4. Again, that is 5 times 1. So multiply the whole number and by the numerator, 5 times 1 is 5, and then just copy the denominator which is 4. So there you go. And then multiply it by 7 and 1 half. Okay, now can we multiply this a fraction with a whole, uh, mixed fraction? Okay, no. So first we have 2. Change 7 1 half to improper fraction by multiplying the denominator by the whole number. So 2 times 7 is 14 and then plus 1 that will give you 15 and then copy the denominator which is 2. Okay, so again that is 2 times 7, 14 plus 1 that is 15. So over 
And then we are now ready to multiply. So 5 times 15, that will give you 75. Okay. Over 4 times 2 is 8. Now we have 75 over 8 is an improper fraction. So we have to divide. Okay. So divide nothing. 75 divided by 8. That will give you what? Okay. Very good. 9. So 9 times 8 is 72. So 5 minus 2 is Okay, that is 3. 7 minus 7 is 0. So you will have 3 as your remainder. So remainder becomes the numerator and the divisor becomes the denominator, which is 8. So, or, this is equivalent to 9 and 3 over 8. Is 3 over 8 already in the simplest form? Okay, yes. So, our final answer is 9 and 3. Okay, so that will be 9 and 3 over 8. Okay, any question? None? Very good. Okay, good job for listening.